Confused by the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode, In Like a Lion, Out Like a Lamb, and How to Find Them in Marches Sky. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargators, and boy, don't you just love spring. I mean, although I really love the brilliant stars of winter, I also really look forward to the soft, muted stars of spring that echo the gentle colors of Earth's landscape in early spring. And you know, I have always been fascinated by folklore, especially phrases that we learn during childhood and repeat all our lives and frequently have little or no idea where they came from. For instance, I'm sure all of you have heard that old phrase that if March weather comes in like a lion, it'll go out like a lamb, and vice versa. But have you ever wondered where this phrase came from? Well, my astronomical colleague, Guy Otwell, who produces a wonderful yearly astronomical calendar, has long suggested that maybe this phrase got its imagery from the heavens. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got our sky set up for the first day of March in a year, about 8 p.m. your local time. And if you are far from city lights and you go outside and look toward the northwest, you will see the dim stars that make up Aries the Ram, or Lamb. But if you look almost opposite about the same height above the horizon in the northeast, you will see the constellation Leo the Lion. So, here we have wonderful night sky images that match our phrase. A lion and a lamb, both about the same height above the horizon in early evening on the 1st of March. But what will you see if you go out at the same time after a month has passed on March 31st? Well, quite a different story. Because on March 31st at 8 p.m., the lion will be almost overhead and the lamb will be smack dab on the western horizon. Now, we all know that usually the weather at the end of March is milder than the weather at the beginning of March. So our skies at 8 p.m. on the last day of March with the lamb setting support the fact that March is going out like a lamb. However, if we turn our skies back to March 1st, 8 p.m., we see that the lion is rising into the night sky at the beginning of March, which supports the fact that March usually begins with fiercer weather, comes in like a lion. So, perhaps long ago, someone tied this all together, noticing that on the first day of March, Leo the lion was rising up into the heavens, whereas at the end of March, Aries the lamb was leaving them and thus decided to poetically link them both to the weather and came up with that old phrase, simply borrowing from the heavens in an attempt to correlate the seasonal changing of the constellations with the seasonal changing of the weather. But as far as astronomers are concerned, March will always come in with Leo the lion rising and will always go out with Aries the Lamb setting. Whatever. May you always have clear skies in March for viewing the Lion and the Lamb, which is easy if you remember to keep looking up. Attention, Star Hustler fans, we have a very special offer. You can purchase any one of our special videos, the Star Hustler Almanac, Stars of the Night Sky, or Star Hustler Space Oddities, for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Stargazer is brought to you in part by Odyssey, Adventures in Science, the premier science magazine for young adventurers. Adventure now at www.odyssey-mag.com.